Let me just start by saying double two double o blah blah. Eshe bar. Guys, I'm back from the tournament. It was fucking dog shit. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the tournament, shall we? Did I have a good time? Sure. Did I get some good prizes? Actually, yes. We're going to open them here on the channel. Anyway, it was dog shit. I got fucked over by a judge. Let's get into it. Pull up a chair, because it's story time with Loza. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Let's begin. We're going to start at the beginning. The best place to begin. Round one of the tournament. I'm versing a guy playing evil twin slash live twin. Let me just get my paper. All right. I wrote everything down. So... I 2 owed the guy playing Evil Twin slash Live Twin. Now, I versed this deck on the channel. Uh, I was versing Patrick, who was playing it, or Tower. Some of you may know him. Um, Evil Twin loses to Dragoon. Let's just say that. So, it was a pretty big free win. Uh, I went second game one because he won the dice roll, uh, which he set up the link for. I had Skill Drain in my hand and Nadir Servant. So, I just set up Dogmatica stuff, and I popped his link for with um, Elder Entity, and Skill Drain just won me the game. And he was a bit upset by that, but like, pfft, what can you do? Skill Drain with Dogmatic is easy win. Um, second game, I was playing second again because he got to take first. Um, I opened Ref Nadir, however. So his board was, once again, the Link 4 and one back row. I Cosmic Cycle in the back row, it was an imperm. whoop de fucking do I played Ref, he didn't have Ash. I had Dragoon, I popped his Link 4, he chose to chain it out to the little two ones. I popped them both, he burnt for damage pretty straightforward, um, and then I ended by playing Nadir in main phase 2, which got me the Schism package, which you know I'm playing, uh, if you don't, we'll do a deck profile later, so the Schism package basically said, I summoned Winder on his turn, my board was Winder, Schism, Dragoon, it just wins games, it wins games, so it was crazy, so then we go into match 2, game round 2, I'm versing Heroes, and yeah, they're playing uh, the new Destiny, Fusion, Fusion Destiny, Whichever one it is. Uh, they're playing that card at 3 with Phoenix Enforcer. Um, game 1, I win because I had I, I w had a really good hand. It was Upstar. Oh yeah, Upstar Goblin's insane. Always play it. I had Upstar Goblin, 2 Soul Servant, um, a Trap card, I forget what, and like Punishment and like something else. Like nothing crazy, but I like went Soul Servant, Stack Magician Souls, Upstart to draw the souls. Sorry, I went Upstart, and obviously he doesn't respond. Chain Soul Servant, Stack Magician Souls. Magician Souls came out, sending mana, um, and then I, I somehow stacked Rod, yeah, I stacked Rod, and then I, yeah, banished Soul Servant to draw Rod, and then I had a way to Anaconda Dragoon, so it was great. Um, so yeah, I had all that, but I also got Circle and Eternal Soul in the process, like, I can't remember how, but it just also just worked out really well, um, so I had the Circle Banish, and I had Dragoon, so he couldn't really play through too much of that, and I think I had Ash as well, so you know, it's pretty good. Uh, game two, uh, I was playing second, and he just made a board that, oh, my hand wasn't that great, I, I just wrote F, I can't even remember, I think I just had a lot of Dogmatica stuff in my hand, and it didn't really do anything until we're playing second board, so big sad, but oh well. Uh, then we go to game three, uh, I chose to play first, and time was very close, and we kind of bricked, um, but we had Nadir Servant, so we just went Nadir Servant for the window package. Uh, because I was like, maybe this will just win it for me in time. Unfortunately, but also fortunately, he tried to burn me in time because his main phase went to time. So I was like to the judge, oh, like, why is he still playing then? And he's like, oh, he's going to burn you. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so he summoned his fusion that burns. I chain float a Lee in hand because I had Ecclesia on field still. And then he realized he could have popped Ecclesia at some point. So anyway, we scooped up a draw there, which is okay. We'll take a draw. Uh, next, we verse heroes again in round three. I don't know why, just heroes again. Uh, this list was a little bit worse, I want to say. It wasn't playing Phoenix Enforcer, I believe, or Anaconda. I went first in game one, and I lost. He summoned Trinity. He summoned the 5k Trinity, um, and it got boosted more by one of the other fusions, and I had Artemis, Anaconda, and Dragoon on the field, and it just went bang, bang, and killed me. Um, and I was like, damn, fair enough. So we go into game two. Uh, I choose to go first again, and this time I win. I don't remember what I established. I know I got to Dragoon, and that's all I can remember. So, whatever, I, I won, cool. Game three, I was playing second, which is normally fine. And I won it because I had Ref and two Nibiru, that's right. I had two Nibiru. So he went to pass his turn to me. I flopped down Nibiru. 
And then on my turn, I played Ref, summoned Dragoon. I didn't kill him. I put him on like low life points. I burned Pop Pop 2 and then swung with my dudes. And I put him pretty low. Uh, I think it was on like 3k. And then he went through hero combos again and just got the engine going again. The Destiny hero stuff's really good actually. Like he actually got to 5 summons and blah blah blah. And that's where I sh he tried to go battle phase. He had Honest Neos in hand, so he was going to swing over Dragoon and kill me. Um, and then it was close to time as well. So he was like, oh yeah, I've got game, I've got game. And he, I felt like he was playing really slow because he knew time was coming up. And I was just sitting there like, yeah man, play slow. Like, I didn't say anything. I was just sitting there going, I got Nibiru in here. Like, what are you fucking going to do, you dickhead? So yeah. Came down to one minute or two minutes left on the clock. And he finally went, okay, battle phase. And I went, ah, uh, end of May. Flopped out Nibiru. And he, you just saw him crumble. He was just like... <laughs> And so that was really funny. Really top 10 satisfying moments when you open a bureau against heroes. Uh, their ending board being a token is always... From there, he was like, oh well, like... Maybe he can't game me. I had just Nibiru. I've tributed my Dragoon at this point. So on my turn, I normal summon Rod, and he flips in perm targeting Rod. I had Mana in Grave, chain Mana, summon Mana. Mana and Rod became Anaconda. Anaconda sent Magicalize, summon my second Dragoon, swing into him for game. Easy. Easy as fuck. I love Double Dragoon. It's so good. Play 2. Here we go. Here we get to the fuck fit. I am still pissed about this. The judge fucked me over. So, I'm bursting striker in round four. At this point, I have not lost. I have two wins and a draw. Two wins and a draw. So, all is going well in the world for Dark Magician. Like, the deck actually did really good. I was very happy. Suddenly, game one. We get deck checked, right? Me and this guy get deck checked. His name is Brian, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to name the judge, he can just be judge. Um, so yeah, Brian and me get deck checked, so we're just sitting there chatting and whatnot. It is clear to me that he knows the judge. Him and the judge were interacting on a, you know, more than acquaintance level. Like, they've known each other, they've chatted before, they've bantered before. And like, the judge gave him back his deck and said like, ah, you list of shit, like, and they had a laugh about it. So, it's clear to me that they're buds of some degree. Unlike me and my opponent, and me and the judge who are meeting for the first time at this event, that's okay, all of that's fine, I'm just, this is adding to the dynamic of the scenario. So then we get into the game, everything's going fine, so he used Sky Striker Rose and negated Dragoon at one point, uh, and that was fine, and then he linked into Zeke, and Zeke then can target Dragoon and banish it, but it returns in my end phase, and here's where everything gets fucked. So he then links uh, Rose and Zeke, yeah. He, he somehow made it to three summons, right? He, he linked them both into something else. I can't remember what. He linked into something anyway, and I just dogmatic a punishment at it. I was just like, get it out here. Fuck it off. Um, so no extra deck for me next turn, right? So anyway, in the end phase, um, I tried to use... I sent Ash Dragon off punishment. So I tried to use it, and he shark cannoned it and whatnot, and there was like a little kerfuffle with rulings there, but whatever. I was like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Like, sure. Get rid of it. To then... I chained Eternal, well, I used Eternal Soul in the end phase, summoned Dark Magician. And that was all that was on my board at this point. Just Dark Magician Dragoon was banished, and it's coming back in my next end phase. I start my turn, uh, I think I drew Nadir, Nadir for turn, which is great. Um, I normal summon Rod, I got Rod Effect, it's all fine. I can't use Extra Deck, obviously, but I've got Dark Magician, I've got Rod. At this point, oh yeah, I had Circle Up, I had Circle Up, sorry. So I went Circle Effect, he had a Shizuku. I went, Eternal Soul, Summon Dark Magician, Circle, Banish, Suzuku. Yeah, he, ch he uses Ray then, right? Ray comes out. So then when I did Servant, Natus popped, tried to pop Ray, and obviously he changed Ray into Kagari. Uh, now he's got an extra deck monster out, which is what I wanted, and I used Ecclesia now to special itself and grab Fleur. Fleur has then summoned itself, negating Kagari, so it doesn't have the attack boost, or I don't have the loss, I forget which one. one of the so yeah, at this point, my board is flirtily... Dark Magician, Ecclesia, and Rod. Like, it's a lot of damage. And I go into the battle phase. I swing into this Kagari that's on 15. Basically, I hit him with all that damage. And, it, like, obviously, Flo Lee effect. I put him on 400 life points. 400. Like, just missed game. What can you do? Anyway, I pass my turn there because I couldn't use extra deck. In the end phase, I go, I get Dragoon back. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, cool. Now, for those of you who don't know, Dragoon has now been banished and special summoned back. It has no pops. No pops. That's the ruling. That's the ruling. No pops. It's been ruled against me so many times. Like, I know. Gets to his turn. He does a bunch of Sky Striker shit. Uh, I negate something at some point. Anyway, there was a scuffed thing, and I should have I told the judge this, but I didn't. Um, but at the very end, it looked like he was going to pass turn, like he didn't really have much left. But anyway, he went, 
uh, and got in, he had engage. So he engaged and don't remember. I genuinely don't remember what he grabbed. But all that's important is he drew. He didn't cut. The, he let me cut the deck and he drew after engage really quick. Like, and no one was doing that at this event. Everyone, I always let people cut my deck before I do any Soul Servant draw shit. Like, everyone was, like, pretty good at, like, just making sure you cut before they draw. However, this time, he just searched with Engage, put his deck down, and drew really quick. And I was just like, that's sus. But, and then he also played down Triple Tactics to steal Dragoon. And at this point, I had under 4,000 life points. And he just said, effective Dragoon to pop, pop two, like, GG. And I was like, I was like, no... I was like, Dragoon does not have any pops because it was it was banished and has come back to the field. It doesn't remember and it loses its pops. And he just called the judge immediately. And I'm like, dude, that's the ruling. Like, I played Dragoon the deck. I've played Dark Magician for so long. This, it always gets ruled against me. Like, I know this ruling. So anyway, the judge comes over and he's like, yep, it, re it remembers how it was summoned. I'm like, N I'm like, look, it, it doesn't. It really don't. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but it did not. So anyway, this judge was adamant that I was wrong and he used this trap card and a bunch of other cards as like comparisons and I'm just like, but none of them, like, yeah, they were talking about banishing for a turn and coming back, but none of them talked about fucking Dragoon's specific effect, which is like, if it's summoned off two vanillas, Dark Magician and Red Eyes, then it has pops, otherwise it doesn't have the pops. Like, specifically those monsters that are normal monsters, not anything else. So, anyway, this judge was just adamant and like, because it's his mate, I felt like I just couldn't win. And I, I, even though I knew he was the only judge of the event, I was like, I was like, look, man, like, can I appeal this? Can I, like, take this higher? And he's like, nope. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> so I was a little heated at this point, right? Naturally, I was a little fucking mad. This guy literally TTT'd, and I kind of think he cheated into drawing it as well, which I probably should have raised that uh, that issue. But I wasn't, I was just so enraged at this ruling. I was like, no, like, this is just wrong. Like, it's the wrong ruling. So anyway, I, I was trying to not be angry, even though I knew it was correct, um, it was just so dog shit, right? So then, anyway, after my match, I've messaged a bunch of people. I've messaged people from my locals who have messaged other good Australian judges, and they're like, what the fuck? No, it definitely doesn't remember. Uh, we're going to watch a little video from Distant Coda here. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, here it is. Ruling question. If Red-Eyes Dark Dragoon's banished until the end phase, say it gets negated, then Farford, when it returns to the field, is it considered to have been fusion summoned using two normal is it monsters? considered to have been fusion summoned using the two Let's normal out. monsters for its effect. So the question here is if the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon gets banished temporarily when it returns Which to the field, Which you did by Zeke. Is it able to destroy any monsters because there were normal monsters that. So it got stolen by tactics after being banished by Zeke after being negated by Rose. For context. But anyway. Or used as fusion material for that monster. So in the case of a monster that is banished temporarily, any of the specific um, specifications about the monsters that were used for its fusion summon are forgotten by the monster. So, in this case, the Red-Eyes Dark Dragoon does remember that it was fusion summoned using the Red-Eyes Black Dragon and the Dark Magician that are now in the graveyard. However, it sees those cards as blanks. It forgets that they are normal monsters. It forgets that they are both dark monsters and things like that. So it doesn't remember anything about the attributes, the type of card and things like that that were used for its fusion summon. It just remembers which specific physical copies of the cards were used to summon it. So in this case, because it forgets that the two monsters that were used to fusion summon it were normal monsters, if a uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon gets flipped face down by something like Book of Moon, say it gets negated beforehand, it gets flipped face down by Book of Moon or banished by a Farfa, when it returns to the field face up, it forgets that the two monsters that were used to fusion summon it were normal monsters, so it will not be able to use its effect to destroy any monsters on the field. All right, this next one. Wow, that was interesting, one. wasn't it? What? Wasn't that interesting because he actually mentioned that it won't have any pops. Yeah, I got fucked over by a judge at an event. Uh, at that point, I was undefeated. I had two wins and a draw. And Sky Strike is an easy win. And unfortunately, I then went on to lose. There was nine minutes left in the round, or like eight minutes left in the round, and I lost that next game. It's fucking bullshit. Absolute bullshit. The whole outcome of the tournament for me could have been different. And even then, I still did pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how I went with Dark Magician. So let's just keep going. But that was the, the big angry point of the tournament, the big fucking ruling dispute. And like, I just feel like, I just feel so fucking mad about that, like, because I even showed him the Distant Coda ruling, like, way after, by the way, like, this is after the tournament, I was like, hey man, like, I've been chatting to this judge back and forth, being like, yo, this judge said this, like, this person said this, and he's like, oh yeah, no, look, look they're wrong, blah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, alright, whatever, so I show him the Distant Coda thing, and he's like, who's Distant Coda, and I was like, bruh, anyway, 
I show him it, and he's just like, oh, anyway, that's that's how I've ruled it. Like, uh, it might not be right, but that's how I ruled it for the day. And I'm like, oh, no fucking shit. I've already got the fucking loss fucking over now. So, yeah, that was fucking dog shit. <laughs> uh, I know he's just doing his job, but, like, he's wrong, and he was helping his friend. It might, like, it just looks like he was helping his friend, and it's super fucking dog shit. Um, but it is what it is at the end of the day. I still had a fun time at the tournament. Uh, let's just keep going with the uh, the rounds. So anyway, next round was round five. I do have a loss now. I am 2-1-1 at this point. And I versed Flunder. And I haven't versed Flunder yet. Um, and I just got fucking floored. I got 2 owed. There's not much to say about it other than I opened Red Eyes Fusion and called by both game one and game two. And I still just, the rest of my hand was dog shit and... Flunder just normal summons a whole fucking load. I had Gozen sighted in in game two. I just didn't see them. I had Judgments as well. I didn't see them. I had Imperial Order and Village. Didn't see any of my sides. Seven cards sighted in. That's more than I like to side. I like to side five to six. I went for seven and I still didn't see one. It is what it is. Um, and I went Dragoon and he went Dark Ruler and just played out five million normal summons. What can you do? Round six. So my last round was Dino Mist. Um, well, Mino Mist. It's a player from my locals called Lachlan and he's a very big and popular Dynamist player. He's done very well with the deck in YCSs and competitive environments. Fortunately, I won, so hell yeah. But um, yeah, I got caught up in time a little bit, but that that's just how it is sometimes. Um, and Dragoon in time is a pretty good card, so luckily I was able to win. Um, but it was a good game, and GG's to Lachlan. Anyway, let's open some fucking packs, shall we? So, this is the mat that we actually won. It is, of course, a Borrow Load mat. Um, so that's pretty sick. I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, it's probably the best part of the tournament. Um, so that was cool. I made what they call, well, not, not what they call, but I made the top 21, which it wasn't like the top cut, but it's just you got a mat if you made it into the top 20. Uh, it was a 45-ish player tournament, and I came 17th, so that's really cool. We will take that mat. I also got this field center. I don't know what it is. Uh, you guys can probably, can you see that yet? I don't know. I don't know what card this is. What is this? It looks like a Borrow Load or a Rocket Dragon Fusion. I, I don't know, man. It's a it's a Rocket Field Center or some shit. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I was, they did like a raffle, like a giveaway. They were doing a bunch of giveaways, and I actually won a Dark Magician Girl. So that was cool. Uh, the Lot Dark Magician Girl. I, I believe it's the reprint, uh, but that's fine. I remember shouting out when I won it, Hey, you get fucked on a ruling, but you get a free Dark Magician Girl. Uh, the joke was not well received by uh, <laughs> the Sydney players. Well, that's alright. We were in the uh, Eshe Bar, double two double O brothers. Oh, yeah. We were uh, making a bit of fun of the postcode the whole day. But um, that's because we're degenerates. We're now a pack opening channel, so you can see... I probably should have showed that off. See, we've got a bunch of OTS here. We've got 17, uh, 16, and 15. So that's really cool. I'm keen to open these. We probably haven't got anything good, but that's all right. And we've got a pack of Synchro Storm, uh, which I will probably never, ever open. So cool. This is the only time I'll be opening Synchro Storm. Uh, I don't really care about any card in here, which is probably the same for everyone. Uh, there's a Lycoris, Lycoris uh, thing. I, I really got to get this glare off the camera. Hey. Alright, that looks a bit better. Cool. Uh, what's this card? Looks like a Stardust Salt Warrior. I, I don't know what the fuck that is. Apologize for my nails. I bite my nails. They look terrible. Uh, Speedroid Thingo. This card sucks. Uh, another Speedroid and a Totem Bird. Totem Bird. Hey, uh, this is all pretty much garbage. Uh, <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. It's my only Synchro Pack I'll ever open. Uh, let's go with the OTS. Uh, we'll save 17 for last. We'll go with the uh, Tournament Pack 15. This is uneven and it's making me angry, but I'm sorry. It's just how it is. The camera's a little off-center too. Alright, here we go. Here we go, boys. Arm Dragon level 5. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Wind Witch. Ice Bell. Ah, fuck. We just got Nocto. <laughs> Hey, Shiny Nocto looks alright. It looks alright. It's not bad. You can't even tell, but it is, uh, of course, a uh, super rare. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, OTS uh, 16 is next. Let's crack it open. I I'm hoping I get a nice pull in one of these, just cause to make up for what a fuckfest the ruling was. But hey, we can't have everything. Alright, we've got Cybersaur Ass, which is ironically not a Cyber Dragon card. Big sad. Big sad. 
Uh, oh yeah, this is the ritual spell. They forgot to put a ritual mark on, so they had to reprint it with a ritual mark. Lol. And we've got a Tri Brigade Nerval uh, Super Rare. So while that's not the best card, it's cool. It's a it's a Tri Brigade card. I might be able to give that to a friend or sell it. I don't know. One of the two. OTS 17. Let's uh let's crank it. Let's crank and shank it. Oh, this this one feels pretty bad. Oh, <laughs> Penguin Soldier! I love this card. This card is such a G. Uh, behind it is a painful decision. I don't think I'll ever play this card in my life, but it's funny. It's got pajamas on it, and we've got a... Oh, wow, this is so depressing. An Ice Barrier token. That's worse than fucking every other token in the world. Well, the best pull we got there was definitely the Penguin Soldier. 